First two people I decided to come out to are my two brothers, because they're my boys, y'all. And I said, it was before Uber, so I said, hey, fellas, get in the van. Mom's driving us to the bar. I got something to tell you. And we blacked out. So um, the only thing I kind of remember saying to them was I grabbed their necks, and I said, brothers, I like my bagels, I like my boobies, and that's two at a time in my hands, and then I squeezed their necks real tight. So I had to come out to them again properly the next morning. <laughs> my one brother's like, Maldal, you said it was obvious. How would we know you were gay? And I said, well, uh, I had a bowl cut till I was 13 and a half by choice, okay? I signed up for sixth grade softball so I could wear the pants. And I wore my All That t-shirt till it disintegrated off of my body. <laughs> These are the same two brothers that when I was 10 years old convinced me that my birth name was not Molly Carney, but it was in fact Meat Brick. <laughs> Meat Brick. They made a fake birth certificate and crinkled it up <laughs> and burnt the edges. And I was like, this is my destiny. So little meat brick went to school the next day in my jumper and I went up to Sister Karen's desk and I said, Sister Karen, something's come up. I will not be answering to Molly anymore. You will call me meat brick. Went back to my desk, signed my math paper meat brick like I was Oprah. And my friends started calling me MB, and I love nicknames. Uh, I gave myself my own nickname uh, the summer before, and I was like, Dad, you'll call me Sport, or we're not talking for the whole summer. So my dad and I didn't talk for an entire summer. Can you imagine being on the playground with a good old meat brick? I was like a big 1990s Roseanne bar in fourth grade, okay? I ate meat bricks for breakfast. <laughs> Playing Red Rover, and I'm like, call me over. <laughs> and they're like, M -m 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 meat brick. And I'm like, forget your lunch money. I'm going to eat you all. <laughs> yeah, so the principal called my mom and said, uh, Mrs. Carney, your daughter's a little bit of a loose cannon. She's telling the entire student body that her name is Meat Stick. And my mom goes, my daughter's name is Meat Brick. <laughs> Family's pretty savage, but we look out for our own. <laughs> I, I dress, well, I dress myself every day. Unless I'm hungover, then the day before dresses me. I like love beer, but beer does not love me back. <laughs> I'll wake up in the morning sometimes from a hangover, and I'll be like, "Ha!" Ah, that's me trying to cry. I'm just so dehydrated. <laughs> you guys ever get so hungover where you cross your legs laying down to give you the feeling of sitting up for the day? <laughs> if I'm really bad in the hole, I'll call my mom, and I'll be like, hey, mom, it's me, Molly. She's like, yeah, I pay your cell phone bill. What's wrong? I was like, um, I wanted to thank you for giving birth to my 12-pound baby body, and I'm sorry for everything. Uh, I'm an organ donor. This is the last day on earth for me. I'm dying. <laughs> One day I decided to take, go to the bar in the morning and, you know, get ahead of the hangover, and I grabbed my pals and I ordered some dirty Shirley's to spice it up a bit, and I took a sip, and this is where you're going to have to follow me to the bathroom because it went down like a rocket. Uh, and I squeezed my butt cheeks together so hard, I could have cracked an egg and made you an omelet. <laughs> I get to the bathroom stall and I do the sign of the cross because I'm still Catholic in a crisis. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, I hear something in the stall next to me that I have never heard in a bathroom before. It's a lady's voice and she goes, one, two, three, ho, oh, come on. And then I just, everything kind of just sucked right back up on me and I was like, totally fine. I'm like, what am I even doing in here, you know? <laughs> so I decided to do the neighborly thing and I went and I checked on her and I said, uh, knock, knock, excuse me, ma'am. 
do you need a hand? She's like, sweetie, I'm trying to get my father off the toilet. That's when I morphed into my dad and uh, I said, ma'am, step aside. Was nose to nose with a 90 year old guy and I said, sir, my name's Molly. I'm gonna be getting you off this toilet today. I know I look like a mirage from the sandlot, but I am real and in this scenario, you are my beast. So I wrapped my hungover, weak body around his bare back because for some reason his daughter also took his shirt off, perhaps for a better grip. And I reached the, I touched the cookie dough back on him and I whispered, on my count. And I went, one, two, three. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, yeah. And he said, what the hell is going on? And his daughter tapped me out for a little, thank God. And I went back to the bar and at this point, remember my friends are sitting there waiting for me. It's been 20 minutes. I'm in a deep sweat and I was like, nothing bad happened, I was doing a service. And then I felt a tap on my shoulder and I was like, there's no way that man can move that fast, but he can. And he had a walker and he's like, Little lady, if you were born a man, you'd be a linebacker for the Cleveland Browns. And then he paid my tab, y'all. Thank you guys. My name